remarks. On the schedule, it says that this is the opening remarks and Victor is giving a keynote, but this is actually the first keynote, and Victor is giving the second keynote. So, is Victor, there he is. Just so you know, Victor. Okay. So, if you're going to only watch one keynote, this is the best one to watch. Uh, so, I'm Jeff. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm, I'm really excited. We're all really excited to have everyone here and everyone online as well uh, joining uh, for our first in person and our second ever uh, NXConf. Uh, so first off, we've got a code of conduct uh, that, that we want everyone to follow. It's pretty simple. And if you go to nx.dev slash conf, then you'll see it there. Uh, we're also asking folks in this room to wear masks uh, in any, whenever you're in a crowded space to, to wear masks to, uh, to look good like Max and I do here. Uh, tonight we're going to have an after party and everyone should come. We're doing board games in the courtyard and karaoke in close, close, Cloister? Sonny, what's the pronunci pronunciation? Cloister? This room. Let's just say this room. And uh, an open bar if that entices you to come. That'll be at 8, right? Good, okay. You can tell I prepared. Uh, like they said, so we're here to help. The Zero Slope folks are here to help. If you need anything throughout the day, if you have a complaint about uh, someone not adhering to the code of conduct or anything else, grab one of us. Uh, I think we all have, the, are, are these like light blue shirts, the speakers and... Okay, yeah, so those are the ones you should, you should bother. So I just wanted, I really want to talk about some of the highlights since last time we presented, or last year uh, at NXConf 2021, because a lot of exciting things have been happening. Uh, Victor is going to talk about things. Everyone else on the team is going to talk about a lot of cool new things uh, in the technology and uh, things that we've been working with customers, and then also folks from outside of Narwhal are going to talk about how they're using NX, but I just want to highlight some of the exciting things from, uh, from our side. Uh, one of the most exciting is that we took over uh, the maintenance and the uh, development of the Lerna project. So we, uh, which has been, uh, it was a kind of an uncertain thing or a little bit scary thing. Oh yeah, you can clap, Emily. I, I'm pretty excited about it. We, it was, they had decided to, uh, to move on from the project. It wasn't being maintained. We worked out uh, a way that we could take it over and improve on it and take some of the things that we'd done with NX and make Lerna work well and take advantage of those things without really having to change too much about how folks are using Lerna. Uh, so it's been, uh, so far, I think we're just a couple months in now, uh, but we've already had two major releases. We just had the, the second major release since we took it over uh, this week uh, with a lot of exciting things. And uh, that's been really exciting. Another is that we've released this resource called monorepo.tools. So if you're new to the world of monorepos, uh, we made this to talk about the philosophy behind monorepos, uh, why you might want it, uh, some of the, the challenges that come with it, and how they're solved by different tools. And we collaborated with the authors of several different open source tools to get them to, to give their own wording or their own perspective on their own tools and how they solve different problems. And this has been a great resource. Uh, I encourage you to share that or check it out, uh, uh, even though like we wrote it with a bias towards how we think about monorepos, I, I still think it's a pretty good objective resource. Uh, NX itself has grown a lot. We're now up to 11.4 million monthly downloads on NPM, and this is a five times year-over-year -year growth. So I, I think since we've been tracking, this is probably our fastest growing year, other than maybe the first year when we started from nothing. Right, Victor? Victor says yes. I think other years we've seen like 2x, 3x, but, uh, but it's just really been phenomenal to see uh, folks really starting to come on board with the idea of monorepos, but also just, just uh, appreciating the tooling and, and seeing how much NX can improve their day-to-day. Uh, their -day. Uh, we've got over 6,000 uh, members in the Slack community. Shout out to the other, uh, to Jay Cooper Bell and other folks who help moderate that. Uh, we're all in that Slack. If you're not already in it, go to nx.dev slash community and you'll, there's a link to join it. It's uh, another great way to, if you're ever stuck on something or you want to hear other people's, uh, how they've solved certain problems, it's a great place to do that. Uh, we've got over a million, I, I'm sure it's higher than this now, uh, but people who've installed the NX console VS Code plugin. If you're using NX that's a and you're using VS Code, that's a great tool to, to have as well. It makes it where well, you don't really have to memorize the CLI commands or anything. You just go to the console uh, and, and use it within the IDE. We estimate now there are over a million developers using NX based on several different signals. Uh, that we process, and then um, over 70 plus community plugins. And this also might have gone up since I created this site. 
Uh, so it's really exciting to see not just the, what we're doing in the core, but seeing folks in the community writing their own plugins for themselves and for others to, to use other languages, other frameworks that we don't support out of the box and uh, do interesting things. So with our with taking over Lerna and with NX being where it is, we're, we're basically uh, running over 80% of the monorepo JavaScript tooling in the space, which, which I'm pretty proud of. And I, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's a good thing. I feel like it shows that we really know what we're doing and we're taking care of the community and, uh, um, just really good to see that kind of progress. Our team has grown too. Uh, we've got lots of people now working on NX and we're spending even more time on NX itself uh, lately. And uh, we'll actually be talking soon about some more things we're doing to, uh, to uh, spend even more time on NX and, and be able to focus more on NX, NX Cloud, NX Enterprise, uh, all the things that, that we've been spending only part of our time on uh, since we started the company. And these are just a few of the companies who, who are using NX today, and not just using, but relying on it for business critical applications. Uh, so lots of companies are putting their trust in it. They're, they're uh, uh, relying on us to, one, make them build faster, get to, get to market faster. Uh -oh, did I forget anyone's logo? Am I offending anybody here? Let me know if, if your logo should be on here. Um, but it's really cool to see these, these big names, big, big brands, uh, using us for, for mission critical products, uh, using us to make their CI more efficient, more, uh, more faster, I was going to say, more better. Um, and, uh, but just the trust that these companies put in us is um, really humbling. On NX Cloud, we've had 10x the active workspaces since last year, and we now have 108,000 connected workspaces on NX Cloud. And uh, if, you're, if you haven't been tracking NX Cloud, it, it basically does two big performance things and also provides a better uh, dev experience for following your, your logs and things. But it, it provides distributed cache uh, for your workspaces. So it'll take whatever your, your task cache is locally, it'll spread it across your team. Whoever's doing work, you get to benefit from that work. But it also does distributed task execution in a way that's really hard to do, but really powerful because of everything NX understands about your workspace. And so with, we started measuring the, uh, the impact that we had from, uh, from running NX Cloud and running NX to, to minimize the work being done. And we have a blog article on, on our blog that, says, uh, that shows these metrics that we've saved this much compute time uh, just since we started beginning. And this is only counting our public cloud, like workspaces that are connected to our public cloud that we can, that we can measure. We have our enterprise product that's, being, that's deployed on-prem with several of our enterprise clients and they are saving an even uh, more astronomical amount. Like one, one client alone is saving something like 40,000 hours per month of compute time just by adding NX uh, Enterprise to their, their uh, workflow. So really exciting things that we've got done uh, in, the past, uh, in the past year. Uh, we've got even more exciting things that the team's gonna talk about today. Um, and I'm really excited to, to hear from them. And uh, uh, I, that's all I've got to say, and I, I hope everyone has a, a great conference. Thank you.